Welcome, Grinners! I am your host, Fox Grin, and we are hunting some hosts using my Demon's Fist and Demon's Great Axe build. See the description for a link to the build video. That video shows the level 70 version, which is the main one, but in this video, in the beginning, I show me trying it out at level 40, and later, I show it at level 90. It performs pretty well at this level. The combo sure still works. <laughs> at least. GG. I realized that I didn't have the Sorig's emote, which I consider essential for this build. But yeah, this was me trying it out at level 40. And I had just realized I didn't have a key component of the build. We are fighting the Ballista and the Lightning Worm. The worm that deep lore says is Solaire. And that ballista hits us both. I have to be a little careful of it. Ooh. Nice with the roll catch. It's a little tough with that, but you can absolutely do it. It has pretty long range. It's, I think, the longest great axe. Definitely gets slept on. I don't see it often at all. Just look at that fashion. Mm. I do think it looks better with the gold red phantom, but I guess I didn't have that yet. And the roll catch combo. Beautiful. GG. There we go. Got the right color. I'm guessing I had gotten the right emote at this point. Can we do it? Yes! <laughs> GG. Yes, we do have the emote. Oh! <laughs> Worth it. Those dropping animations are so bizarre, aren't they? Is that sorry? Yeah, NPCs are always so tanky, and he in particular is incredibly tanky. I usually try to poison them, but I don't have that option on this build. I could switch to stuff, but I try to stick to the build I'm using. And there's some latency, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. This is just chaos. At least we don't have the ballista. I can't remember if it's still going. I haven't seen it in a while. Great shield. Tough for me to do anything, really. Oh, that could have been good. I didn't get the repost, but I, I threw those R1 spams out there hoping I would hit in the recovery animation. And it looks like I did. Woo! You just got to be careful against great shields. These these players are doing a good job of making my job hard. Although, oh, maybe level health. Maybe level vigor. And serving up a nice combo for the NPC. Doesn't do that much. Oh, but it breaks the shield. Yes. <laughs> Damage is usually so reduced by the fact that that's an NPC phantom. It's usually so reduced it's not worth doing the combo or something fun like that, but pop the shield. Awesome. Awesome. Fist fight. Dex versus strength. Fire versus bleed. Whoa! I just barely barely made it through that. We both have decent weapon arts. As you have seen, I'm always trying to go for those fist drop attacks because they're so rare. And I'm waiting for a heal or something that's going to take a bit of time so I can get my combo. Oh, 
or looking for a roll catch. There it is. Oh, and I miss. Oh! Nice! Poison and bleed. Gets me again, and I'm poisoned. But I'm ready for it. If I, oh! I did not have the spacing to heal. I'm getting whipped pretty good. Oh no, we were having so much fun. There it is. GG. The fist fight was fun. Really got some good damage off on me. Level 40 is another fun range to invade at. The builds that I like usually don't work too well there. But this one does pretty well. But places like Karthus are, are so much fun to invade. Oh! GG. I'm not even sure who tripped that, but yikes. If you're going to stand there. You have to respect the damage of those cell swords. Try to use the Great Axe to bring him in. Yep, don't even need to do the combo. GG. I read the running attack coming in, poised into it. There's a little bit of poise on that weapon art. Got that great shield probably looking to stick behind that. Good spacing with that straight sword. This is going to be tough. Ooh, hit into the jumping attack. Good spacing again. Good use. Probably should have went for a weapon art there. Maybe could have caught them. I wasn't close enough, and I was nervous about going for the weapon art for the heal punish, since they've been spacing so well. Shake it up with the Great Axe. Gives me a little more space to control. Looks like it outranges that. Looking for that kind of trade. And the host kept wanting to trade with me. And my giant axe, so I let them. GG. Good spacing. I believe this is back up, and the previous one too, my health went up, so I this is back at the level 70 range. Oh, GG. Don't even do the sore eggs, because I feel bad. That's what's fun about having a big weapon on a build, is those drop attack executions. Catch with the combo, but they have enough health. Try to finish off with the straight sword. Sometimes I have that, sometimes I have the bandit's knife. Mm. G 
GG. It was pretty scary going for <laughs> attacks up close like that with a huge hyper armor weapon. Now this is up at level 90. I haven't used this version too much. Actually, there was a lot less footage of this build than I thought when I was going into starting to make these videos um, because it's so new. I do the debuff there, do that whenever you can, especially when a spell causes it. And we have a bonfire duel. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> and again, I notice I didn't have Sorex emote. The build is not complete, but getting blown right off the edge by that weapon art combo, beautiful, GG. And just look at the fashion of this level 90 version. So this is, yeah, I did a few clips. I, the first one there was to show that that white likes to R1 spam. And I showed that because it is important for later. That was like the research section of the invasion. I punish the edgy non-sportsman-like point down. <laughs> Fair trade. Boom. Good cover from the host. I barely avoid death there. And I'm just looking to trade in to get that last bit of health. And I know they like their R1s. GG. Now it's just the host to die. I can't poise into it. I don't have enough hyper armor there, but if I can outspace. I'm just looking for my opportunity. Decent damage at this level. Not as impressive as at 70. Ooh, that could have been it. I was ready. Ah, and they walk into it. You know what's coming. Instead of, I didn't even have to try to time the roll catch. Oh, and the connection error! <laughs> uh, isn't that just classic Dark Souls? GG. This is the last clip of this video. I believe it's back at level 70. It is a... duel. A full duel against a... Great sword and parry shield with Tears of Denial. Pretty meta as far as things go. So I know I have a challenge on my hands. And they have a pretty cheeky name there. So I'm assuming we're going to see parries. I'm assuming we're going to see point down. So I'm trying to play my best. And there we go. There was the first parry attempt. I can almost guarantee this player has point down on their... Um, bar and the hornet ring if not i apologize it was still a good fight overall but i know to be careful against this sort of player and the weapon art cannot be parried so it's a bit of an ace in a hole i have they were ready to uh whiff punish me there that's why i had to unlock and curve it backward definitely at the range disadvantage but that's what's fun about it I love how aggressively I can play with this build. Mm -hmm. This elevation change not making it any easier on me either. And my one of my main goals here is to be unpredictable. Even if it gets me smacked once or twice, I really don't want to get parried and pointed down on. And I do the follow-up. But I am robbed by the elevation. That's okay. That means this fight isn't over yet. Let's go. I try to see if my unparryable giant axe 
can do something like this. It's a good switch up. In general, a great axe isn't the best thing to be dueling with, but it's a change up. GG. Double roll catch. Popping their tears of denial with the two hit L1s. See, it can perform even against meta duels. GG. GG to the players, and thank you to the viewers. If you enjoyed, and I hope you did, please don't forget to like, 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 like